Anyway, meet Nihal at the hideout. I don't want to. This woman is just so far up my shit list. I want nothing to do with her. Nothing. Thanks to her. The earth has shifted beneath my feet. I need to get back to firmer ground. No. I need home. I need Nihal. Nihal has done nothing but upend your world from the beginning of the game right through to now. She just speaks poison in your ears, gets you to throw away the only life that has treated you kindly. To what? Satisfy her sick need to manipulate you? I just despise this woman. She's repulsive. I hope we get to kill her at the end. I do not want her to survive this. But I seriously hope we're not going to go attack the Alamut and kill all our brothers. How can he be part of the Brotherhood in Valhalla if he if he turns on the Brotherhood like this? He can't. He can't. This game is already crap. Don't make it any worse. Uh, me. Stop crawling back to this woman. She's toxic. Basim. I... I do not know. You... You were right, Nihal. My enemy, Qabiha, she held the answers. What did you learn? That there is more to who I am. A truth Qabiha tried to tell me. A truth my master sought to silence. That truth lies at Alamut. So we ride for Alamut. This is so stupid. Yeah, 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 whatever. I will go, Nihal. I alone. You need me. Like hell I do. I need you safe. I need you dead. I am safe with you, and you with me. I may find nothing there but danger and death. This is my fate. I will not turn back from it, but neither will I have you face it. Where you go, there I will go. Where you rest, there I will rest. I will walk behind you every step of the way. Freaking creepy. You are never alone. Now get backing. We will not leave. I'm Alamut not alone. I had a whole fucking see. brotherhood on my side until you intervened. <laughs> Why would you tax the one horse with both your weights? <laughs> And they've done an absolute rubbish job of making Nihal likeable. She's just been detestable from the moment we met her. And yet suddenly she's the only person on her side and we're supposed to just accept that? She's been nothing but horrible to boss him, doubting him along the way. She has not been giving him much encouragement at all. This is a poorly written game. It's three days! It's not like it's across the goddamn globe. Okay, let's go kill the Brotherhood, because that's something I'm so keen to do. It was only three days. Are you telling me you didn't pack enough water to get you through three days? Sounds like a you problem. The Order is already attacking Alamut. Yep. Wait, where is Nihal? Where is Nihal? Who is this? Roshan? That ain't Roshan, honey. That's a man. It looked like for love, but wrong, wrong clothes. So it can't be for love. Was it Altai here in the flesh? <laughs> you deserve what you get, betrayer. Oh, you can kill him now, I'm done with him. <gasps> no. 
Nör? Nur? Ja. Not the welcome you were expecting, eh? Well, at least you had the fortune to be elsewhere when the Tahirids came for us. What happened? I, uh... Fear Alamut has fallen. I was tasked with finding help. I went into the desert to find other patrols. Then I found you. Were there others with me? No. Only you. Then Nia lives. And Roshan? I had hoped she would be with you. Come, brother. We must head out. Find any survivors and cleanse Alamut of its infestation. I, uh... Fear I cannot. Oh, shit. How bad. I will make every last one of them pay. Vengeance is not our way, brother. Our way? You sit bleeding to death and still cling to this foolish dogma. And for what? Our creed could not protect Alamut. And neither could I. Nor I. But our beliefs are why you still draw breath. And are why you must save any of us who may yet live. On that we can agree. You have my word. <sighs> He's gonna have to kill her, Sean, isn't he? She's gonna be the final there is nothing boss. Left to say, brother. Go! I really Stay hope Nahal is part of the Order of Ancients. Like, I seriously hope that she's an enemy at this point. Oh god, there are so many people dead. A horse. Nah, oh, man. Look at feet. Hurry back to the camp. What outfit am I wearing? Desert traveler costume, non negotiable. Got it. I didn't say I disliked it, I just wanted to have a look at it. Yeah, no, I like it. This is great. I'm no longer my Prince of Persia, but this is great. It blends in better. This is what you should have been wearing from the beginning of the game. Instead of all this white blinding shit, where everyone can notice you from like a million miles away. Our temple. Whatever lies beneath, I must see it for myself. No matter the cost. Yeah, well, Roshan is going to try to kill you. As long as you know that possibility lies in your future. All this blood and death. Is this what Kabiha meant by preparing the way? Well, obviously. Nihal, please be safe wherever you are. Please be dead wherever you are. Waste of space. Oh, I was getting ready to jump across. Love is there. Oh shit. Is it for love? Might not be. Save Rehan. Rehan? Oh my god. Rehan among them. It's been ages since we've seen him. Save the man. Well, unless things go horribly wrong, I eat like that. I don't really know what I was supposed to do in that particular instance. Fuck off. Fuck off! I just want to run! Why is his jabbing faster than my running? It's so stupid. Where am I trying to go this way? Hello? How many times must I flick these buttons before you actually, you know, use the buttons I'm hitting? That was hilarious! It just tinged off his helmet! Oh, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Oh. That is not the defense button. Okay. 
I think I just killed everybody in one go. Bastem, how? I, I thought you were in Baghdad. Where are the others? Roshan? I came alone for the same reason these men did. I know the truth, Mentor, about the temple and what it shelters. I mean, you don't. Our enemies told you me You don't as much. know the truth about it. It's a bit of an they overstretch. They urged me to seek it because only I could. You? Thus the order used the Tahirids to decimate Alamut because you... You... Are there key? Why did Rashan not what? tell you that? What are you protecting that is worth all this bloodshed? Ancient ground. For generations, it has been our duty to watch over it. Why couldn't it. Rashan just tell him Defend this, it from honestly? The order, who seek and to why did Rashan not tell Rehan about The Basim? temple houses its entrance, but Basim, even though it is forbidden, I have searched. There is no means to access it. Then I will find a way myself. You must not. It is what the Order wants, don't you see? If what we protect should fall into the wrong hands, it will fall into mine. Look around you, at what the Order is prepared to unleash upon us. If I can gain the knowledge they seek, it can be what finally gives us an edge in this endless war. This is the way forward. For the Hidden Ones. I think you're arrogant and reckless. And you do not have the uh, the the Brotherhood's best interests at heart. Or oh, whatever, mate. No escape, you coward! Get out of here. Go. Stop right there! Hold you! Uh, I'm not sure how I get there. Oh, I got up. Did someone just run into fire? What an absolute idiot. Oh god. Why do you run faster than me, dude? So annoying. That's cute. I'm still just gonna be running though. I need more of my smoke bombs. Eliminate the intruders. How? Get him, man. Come. I shall reap what you have Out of ammo. Hello? What happened to my cloud? Oh, fuck off. Your fate is here. Spare me. Oh, that only got one guy. I defended against it. I defended against that too. I want my stuff back, actually. I don't mind the health so much as I want my ship back. Oh shit. You do realize that your friend just stabbed you with an arrow, right? Can we not focus on him so I can run up like a normal human being? More of them ahead. Now to see if I can achieve what others could not. I should have upgraded my shit. Where are we going? Define a head. Th th this way? I don't really know where we're going. Oh man, you were hiding. Smoke bombs? Yeah, smoke bombs. A hole too! Beneath its temple walls, Kabi said. Beneath its temple walls. Where to begin? I don't know. I can't see shit in this place. I'm trusting you to be able to tell me where the fuck I'm going. Where? Oh, in between. Yes, must make bombs. You who see more, 
What yeah, more it's over there. Be seen? I see it, sir. Just let me get my loot. So close? No. Okay, I think we're out. I think we've overstayed our welcome. Wait, what's over here? Oh, the ammo, which we already have. Okay, cool. Anywho, it's over here. What magic is this? Kill you. you what would happen. I don't want to kill you. Can you just kill Bastion? Last chance. I know it doesn't happen, but I'd be happy if you did that. Really? You're going to kill the one woman who taught you everything and stood behind you the whole Very way. Well. <sighs> You're a dick. So it has come to this. Killing each other. You brought this, this upon yourself. Your idea of Ow, a brotherhood. I can't see what color you are. The brotherhood is unified. There is no place for those who set themselves wrong. Is that what you think I am doing? Bitch to flex? Wake up, Basim. You walked the order's path. The very people you soared to fight <sighs> against. You're fulfilling their mission. Target and her weak point with a throwing knife. What weak point? Her head? Want to defend free will. I don't understand and what you want of me. Mine? She How doesn't have I a weak point. Denied to me? Your creed is flawed. What, her foot? How am I supposed to know what a weak point even is? We don't do weak points in this game. Was it the first time we've apparently done weak points in this game? I think it's poisoned, by the way. Okay, that's cute. Um, but smoke bombs apparently don't work on her. Which is super annoying. Okay, this is super awkward. I trusted you. I gave you everything I had. No, you, you didn't. Lied to me. She didn't lie. She admitted. You knew. Since to be the fair, night we fled that is on her. You knew my truth. Stop red attacking me, bitch, and freaking you. yellow attack me. Spell, but I set my it's annoying though, because I don't get help back from doing this. You were a better young man, broken and alone, desperate for guidance, wanting to do good. I am still here. You're really not. I don't know what you've become, sir. Yellow, attack me when I'm ready for it. Are really gonna kill her? Seriously? Oh my god. There's no justification for this! I don't care if she didn't tell you the truth about your, your heritage. That's not a reason to kill a trusted friend, a mentor. Oh my God, you arrogant, reckless Yield. piece of shit. Basim. Oh, what the hell do you want Leave now? Her. Come. I never wanted this, but I need to know. I do not want to lose you to what you may find in there. You do not have to look to the past. To know who you are, who you can be, you can choose, Basim. Put your faith in me. I tried, and in the end, you thought it best to control me. No, Nihal convinced no you that Roshan is controlling you. Basim, over here. You're so blind, Basim. Stop letting other people dictate shit for you. I in the hull. I know what this is. 
Can you just not touch my shit? Why are we doing this together like we're a family and loved ones? The key. She doesn't give a shit about me. She just wants to see what's inside here. She's using me just as much as the others were. believing that he found dead center. First try. How do you plan on getting out? She will follow. No. Go faster. She cannot. Go faster. You saw it yourself. Whatever lies within carries grave importance for the Hidden Ones, for the Order of the Ancients. For me, what have we walked into? Where has my path brought us? You do not want to know why anyone was brought to this place. Why? Are my eyes deceiving me? Who are you to judge? Are you seeing this? No, oh, fuck me. Nihal? I am. I am here. Wherever we are, it was built long ago. To serve what purpose, I do not know. I do. How? I... Nihal. Hey, you no, no, back up, back up, back up. How does she know? I don't trust this bitch. She's using you. She's going to try and stab you in the back. Don't we already know that she likes paganism and occult things? He said as much to one of the dudes I in the House of Wisdom. This place. How? Nihal? It's suddenly very cold. It looks like a coffin. <laughs> It, it cannot be. How? What? What are you? Look! See for yourself! I'm so confused right now. No, there are no features to go off. I have no idea who's whom. Don't understand. Where are you? In any way, shape, or form. How could he have hallucinated to the extent that he didn't realize that he was the one who killed the Khalifa? I just I don't get it. 
I wouldn't have Dervish have said something if he knew that Nihal didn't exist. I'm the so in my confused. Days. The figure from these visions. They are one and the same. Is Just this what I've been faster. seeing? The memories of a life long ago. Are they mine? Is that why the Jinni feels so real? Well, I told you Nihal was manipulating you. I was My right from the very beginning. The source of all that ails me. And that's why she did nothing at the if beginning this of the is game. So, then I must face you. Well, we don't have any health, so we're not going to be fighting anybody. No. Why am I seeing this? Mm hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know what you want of me. Again? Really? Am I supposed to be going away from it or to it? At this point, I have no freaking clue. I have no instructions. Nothing to go off. This space. As I move through it, I see nothing but the memories that stir my soul. Cool. Way to tell and not show. In these moments of adversity is when I felt the Jinni nearest. That unrelenting fear. Paralyzing me in my weakest state. <sighs> I never understood what it was born of, or why it haunted me so. But I am beginning to remember. I am in a cold cell, begging for it all to stop. Who I once was may seek retribution. But if I am to move beyond this pain, then what I want is peace. This is super boring. Climax of the game is a walking simulator. It is time to put an end to this. Oh, I'm supposed to be doing something. I didn't realize. Please tell me I didn't just die. I know you now. I see you for what you are. Well, that makes one of us. I have no idea what's going on. memory from a past life. But why would you even have memories of a past life? No one else has to date. That's really matter of you, and I hate it. That is where you will remain. It is over. No, Basim. It is only the beginning. Who the hell us, are you? For what lies ahead. A deeper understanding of the world we left behind, and our place in it. All my life I wrestled with who I was. Who I was meant to be. And there you were, all this time. The side of me I resisted. Reflection of who we once were. 
who we shall be once more. There is so much that awaits us. A new world. Let me show you. How about you just don't? I will never see you again. Will I? That's a good thing. She's unhealthy. Will I be alone? Well, if you're like in the Brotherhood, alone. you will be alone. This plot was a good idea. They deserve to be fired. <gasps> How many times must he wake up gasping for breath? It's getting a little tired. How? How long has it been? What? Has he been trapped in there? Practically killed Roshan. I don't know whether she's dead or not. She probably is. What kind of an ending is this? Oh, that's Roshan. Okay, she's alive. Thank God for it that. It is done. You made your choice. Now I make mine. Okay, it can't have been too long because she's injured. I don't know what they meant by it. I'm so confused. It's clearly been like an hour. And he magically changed clothes. Wada'an Roshan bint al-Ahad. It was an honor. It's all Basim's fault. Come, Basim. We have much to discuss. <laughs> that we do, mentor. What did this get you, Basim? I don't understand what you've benefited from this ridiculous act of rebellion. This story makes no sense whatsoever. That's the big mystery? His past memories are locked inside the Alamut? What the hell? That's so anticlimactic and pathetic. Good, you deserve that shit. I don't know why everybody has to biologically, sorry, who is biologically related has to get that scar. Makes no prison, sense. The torture I suffered here, it festered for years. Darkness and dreams, masked as a jinni, to haunt me and hollow me until it consumed my waking life. But I have faced my past, my pain, embraced it. I shed my skin once, in another time, another place. But I am whole again. I remember. And as for those who thought to bind me, should any of them still walk the earth? I so look forward to our reunion. But until that day, a new world awaits. This is a horrible game. I don't know what they were even 
thinking when they wrote this? I genuinely don't understand. So, for millennia, or centuries, however long it has been, the assassins have had their home at Alamut, protecting the big secret of the uh, Isu or whatever underneath the mountain, and they've protected it and just guarded it with their life. But it turns out that what they've been guarding for a massive period of time is just Bassam's past life's memories, which helped in no way, shape or form. It has no impact on the game that he remembers his past life. It has had no impact on the game. What was the point? Suddenly knowing that he once lived a life under the name of Nihal. It just, it, <laughs> what? What do we get out of that? It doesn't progress any plot. It doesn't tie off the plot of... Game crashed. It doesn't tie off the plot of this game. It, it doesn't do anything. Um, I hope that doesn't ruin like any after credit scenes that I could have seen because the game just crashed. Um, that will suck if it does. So you're just going to see a black screen or maybe the logo until I get to there. But it just... It, <laughs> what benefit was there to having this? I, I don't... I don't understand what the big picture is. What have we achieved by doing this? It's alienated a, a, a loyal brother of the Brotherhood, Roshan. She's now had to leave because she's been, you know, discarded or she's discarded herself because of the results of uh, Basim doing all this. Basim has not changed as a person in any way, shape or form. Usually... You know, characters characters go through a bit of a development, a change. They have a bit of an arc. They develop into something. Basim went through fuck all changes. He is still the same narcissistic, arrogant, reckless prick that we started the game with. In fact, he's worse because he got his way throughout the entire game. No one ever compromised with him. He got his way every time. And so he has finished this game believing that he is always in the right. And it disgusts me. It really disgusts me. Okay, we're getting back in. I don't know where we're going to be. We're in the younger robes. I'm not quite sure what happened with the game crash. Um, yeah, I just... Okay, I can just skip through all this then. If it will let me. It doesn't let me. Okay, well, that's shit. God, I can't even, like, escape through it. Okay, whatever. It can just replay while I go through all this bullshit again. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> it's just... <laughs> What's the point? Why has the Order been fighting so hard to get access to what is beneath Alamut with this relic? Or for it to just be Basim's memories from a past life? It wouldn't have benefited them in any way, shape or form because they would not have been able to access the memories. So, I <laughs> just, <laughs> it's the dumbest plot ever did they get to the end of the game and go you know what i don't know what's meant to go here uh let's just make it up on the spot <laughs> it makes no sense i do not know why they made nihal so fucking unlikable throughout the whole game if she's meant to be another facet of basim could she not have been the more likable one because he wasn't likable couldn't she have been more pleasant more reassuring more optimistic or hopeful or something Something that was different from him. I mean, she was different. She was worse. I just, I found neither character likable at all. I hate that she was such a big impact when she was such a horrible influence on him. Honestly, she brought out the worst in Basim. Not in a good, yeah, just, she constantly got him questioning, but not in a positive way. It was in a negative, you know, showing up your superiors, making you doubt those that you trust, making you doubt those who actually have your back and support you. It was very unhealthy, very toxic relationship. I hated every moment of it. The game is clunky. <laughs> I don't know. Look, we may as well go through the end of the game now because I've got to sit here and wait with through scenes I can't skip. But I'm sure it will never be crash again. Uh, the game is clunky as all hell. I mean, I know parkour was not the point of uh, Origins Odyssey or Valhalla. Again, I haven't finished Valhalla, so I can't really use it as a point of reference. But for Origins and Odyssey... Parkour wasn't really part of the game. You used it to get to your viewpoints, to uh, get more of the map. But as a whole, you didn't really use parkour in the game. But I don't remember it being this clunky. It's like Basim is glued to surfaces. Even when you try to go up a basic staircase, 
he gravitates towards the sides of the staircases and then runs up the rail. And it's just like, why? Why can't you just go up the staircase like a normal person? I'm pressing jump. Can you please just jump off the surface? I'm pressing circle. Can you please just climb down from the surface? Nope. Okay, cool. You could just stay there forever. That's great. You know, parkour was rubbish. And isn't that what Assassin's Creed is supposed to excel at, or at least the original Assassin's Creed games? Isn't that the whole point of their games, you know, to set them apart from all the others? Is it had this super cool parkour system? And if that's the case, why the hell didn't they spend more time fixing their parkour system before they released this game? Hmm? This game could absolutely have used another six months to figure out their parkour system and made it more user-friendly. Did they playtest it? It was repulsive. Absolutely repulsive. Horrible. It didn't listen to any of my res my commands, my input. He just did whatever the fuck he felt like doing. And it was really, really infuriating. I did not like it at all. As I did mention earlier, the last bit of the game up until Alamut, because that was bullshit, uh, was more likable than the beginning of the majority of the game. Because after when we were going after Muhammad, uh, Kahiba, and Arib, these were actually people that we've met. These are people we know about. We've experienced these people. It was a lot nicer having to investigate people you knew to find out which one was the bad person. I liked that. That is how it always should be, to an extent. Not the whole first half of the game where you're just, oh, I'm looking for clues, kill. Oh, I'm looking for clues, kill. Oh, I'm looking for clues. Hey, you're it, kill. <laughs> it's just so unimmersive. It doesn't tell a good story. It doesn't make you feel like you're on the path of good. It just feels like you're killing people left, right, and center for no reason whatsoever. It was very, very, very poorly grounded. I know in Origins and Odyssey, it can occasionally feel like that with the big leaders, but even then, there are still really good writing quests and stories around them, and so it, it rarely ever feels the same way that it does in this game. This was just horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Oh, God. If they make another old-school Assassin's Creed game like this again, unless I can see any signs that it has improved through other people's playtesting and like playing the betas and stuff. I'll watch that footage if it's available to see what the game's like before I dare make any purchases because I don't want to go through anything like this ever again. I've already been burnt by Final Fantasy and now I'm burnt by this franchise. It's just, it's disgusting. I don't. I'm just glad I didn't buy this game. I just subscribed to Ubisoft Plus. So I'm only like, what, 20 bucks out of pocket instead of like 90 bucks out of pocket. So I will take my win on that front for sure. I will take that as a win. So the game was pretty to look at. I guess the city was kind of versatile. It was really hard to tell. It was all just squished streets the entire way through with a little bit of farmland thrown in. So I didn't really feel like it was very versatile. He was trying to say, oh, it's the slums. Oh, it's the nice parts. It's like, yeah. Other than a little more greenery, it kind of all looks the same to me. I really wish there was more diversity. And uh, a difference in the NPCs in the regions and the behavior of the NPCs in the regions to distinguish them from each other. At this day and age, it's 2023. There is no reason why we cannot do this kind of AI or NPC and AI in these games. And speaking of the quality of these games... What is with the bad quality of, like, the cutscenes and shit? Why do people look so terrible? Why do they look so fuzzy around the edges because they've extra blurred out the outside? I don't... I don't understand why a AAA game company can't make technology that belongs in 2023. Where, where is your money going, Ubisoft? Because it certainly didn't go into this game. Yeah, here we go. Turn my volume back up. Is it just loading me in? There's no actual scene. Shukran. That's, thank you. Congratulations on completing Assassin's Creed Mirage. I don't think I should be congratulated. I think I should be pitied for having gotten this far. You will return to Baghdad with all your gear and equipment from before the final chapter of Basim's journey in Alamut. Hamam. That's great. I don't deserve any of this shit. It was bad. It was real bad. I'm angry. I have zero clue why Basim ends up in Valhalla. As I said, I've not finished Valhalla, so I don't remember if Basim had explained at any point where it played up to in the game as to why he abandoned Baghdad and went to England. I don't know if it's explained. 
I don't know why, because I don't see a reason why he would leave. <sighs> Other than his own arrogance and stupidity. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just, I can't find things I like about this game. Other than the surroundings look kind of pretty. That's like the only good thing going for it. And if that's the only thing a game has going for it, that's really, really bad. But thank God the next main Assassin's Creed game is going to be an RPG game, as far as I'm aware. I believe Japan is an open world game. I don't remember what they called it. Uh, so I'm very strongly looking forward to that. And I seriously hope it's a separate team working on it than was working on this pathetic excuse for a game. If you have made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for sticking around. If you have differing opinions to me, I'm sorry that I don't agree with you. That's life. That's just agree to disagree. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.